plants have different parts that help them function and help them live and help them grow. Um, and they're all really important because they work together. Hi everyone, I'm Keenan and I'm from North Carolina 4-H. And today we're gonna to be talking about plant parts that we eat. And so this activity and this lesson comes from the Junior Master Gardener curriculum, Learn, Grow, Eat, Go. So if you'll take a look at our whiteboard, we have a diagram that identifies all the different parts of a plant. So first, we have our roots. Our roots are in the ground, and so they're responsible for anchoring the plant in place. So they absorb water and nutrients from the soil, and then they send that nutrients to the stems. And so the stems of the plant travel or carry all of that nutrients in the water throughout the plant. Then we have our leaves. Our leaves are responsible for creating energy and food for the plant to survive. That's why they're big and open. Next, we have our flowers. Flowers are really pretty. Um, <laughs> flowers create seeds so that the, so that the flower or so that the plant um, can reproduce. So the seeds can get planted into the other parts in the ground, um, but also flowers sometimes turn into fruit and we eat a lot of fruit, right? And they hold the seeds inside of the fruit. Um, next, we have our seeds. Seeds are important because that's the reproduction of the plant. So whenever you have a strawberry plant and you wanna reproduce it, um, all of those seeds are really important so that you can grow a new plant. So as we talked about all the different parts of the plant, there are many different parts of the plants that we can eat. And so what I've done, I've brought my lunchbox with me today, and we're gonna see if we can find some different parts of the plants in my lunchbox. So first off, we have a sweet potato. A sweet potato is considered a root. We have seasonings in our kitchen. Bay leaves are a type of leaf that we use to cook with. Coffee, these are coffee grounds, but coffee comes from a coffee bean, which is a seed. And I also have an apple. An apple is considered a fruit. Now, I think that we have a couple of these things in our garden outside, so maybe we can go take a look. Hey Liz, can we go outside? Let's go! Hey friends, we're out here at the J.C. Ralston Arboretum outside our nice educational yurt. Um, and I'm here with my friend, Miss Liz Driscoll, and she's gonna tell us about all of the different plants that we have here um, and the plant parts that we can eat. So Liz, would you care to share? Thanks, Keenan. I would be glad to take you on a little garden tour. So let's start over here. We have one of my favorite spring vegetables. This is called Swiss chard. And if you look closely at the stems here, they're bright orange and they're bright red and yellow and full of those really good phytonutrients. And so this is a leaf. So you can just take chard leaves and you can just pop it in your mouth. Just I like that. Try it. So tasty. What do you think? All right. Pretty mild. Yeah. It's related to spinach, and so it's great in a salad. You can uh, steam it, stir fry it up. It's delightful. Sounds yummy. Tastes yummy. And right here by our knees, what else actually, do you have? yeah, we have. Um, this is. These are a bunch of radishes here. So radishes are. You can actually eat the leaves, but we usually eat the roots. So I'm gonna pass this back to you. Oh. And Alrighty. I'm gonna pull my trowel out, <laughs> and we're gonna try to see if we have one. Can you kind of see that root down there? Nice, pretty red. And you probably can just pull it right up without even using the trowel. And so radishes, once you wash it really well, uh, make sure you get off all the soil, then you can slice it up and just eat it raw. But this is a root, so delicious plant part. Yummy. Okay, moving on over. Is there anything else? Yeah, let's go check this out. It might, I wonder if any of you guys can identify this at home. This is one of my kids' favorites. This is actually a flower and it's a broccoli. So yeah. because it's gotten so warm, it started to what we call bolting. So it's beginning to actually open up and you can see a flower right there. But we eat it when it's really tight, the buds are really tight and they haven't opened yet. 
Yum. Also tasty. You want to try this? Yes, please. You can yeah. put this in your salad when it's like this. Eat it raw. Steam oh, it up. Good. Delicious. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. Anything uh, else we have fun here in the gardens? We have one what more. What else can you think of? That is my favorite. A couple more over here. All We've right. got some kale. So kale, you all probably can identify this plant part. This is a Our leaf. Leaves. Yes. So you can just take this off, um, eat it raw on a salad, steam it up, saute it in a little bit of butter. Delicious. And then here's something that's really fun for those of you that are my gardening friends, you'll notice that a lot of our plants, especially over here, this is a mustard, they'll start to flower. And so instead of just composting it or feeding it to your chickens, you can actually take those flowers and you can eat them. Oh, cool. You can eat the leaves, you can eat the flowers, um, and they're tasty. Add a little bit of bite. Very cute. And color. Awesome. Well, thanks, Liz. How about we go back inside? See you in a sec. Whew, that was great fun. Now I'm challenging you to go in your kitchen or in your home with an adult and search through your kitchen and see if you can identify all of the different parts of a plant that you can find in your kitchen. So what I want you to do is go bring them all together and take a photo of them. And if there are some parts of the plant that you can't necessarily find in your kitchen, why don't you draw a picture and post it in our comments below. Um, we'd love to see what you find in your kitchen. Thanks, you guys.